So here we have a scripture found in Mark 10, 13 through 15, Jesus talking about the attitude of entering the kingdom of God. And let me read it. And they were bringing children to him so that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Permit the children to come to me. Do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. So what does this mean? So in verse 13, we have the mothers and the nurses releasing their children to Jesus, probably expecting some type of blessing because it was known throughout the day that when Jesus touched you, you could possibly get a cure. So they were expecting some type of blessing, but the disciples felt that this was wasting Jesus's time. Jesus had too many more important things to do. Well, Jesus was indignant or he was angry about this, so he decided to take this opportunity to teach a lesson. So Jesus uses these children as a symbolic element of the coming kingdom. Jesus did not come to save these innocent children. They're innocent, they're sinless. So he's just using them to teach a lesson. So what does he mean by verse 15 about becoming like a child. Well, you can just see these children just running towards Jesus with open arms, right? Didn't see too many Pharisees running towards Jesus with open arms. So what's the difference? The difference is attitude and the attitude that Jesus is trying to convey to his disciples is that, she, that uh, children have this attitude of acceptance. They accepted Jesus just the way he was. So what, this attitude, how, how do you get this attitude of acceptance? Well, as children, and we all were children at one time, we're pretty much helpless and we're dependent on our parents. Without our parents, we're in deep trouble. This type of helplessness and dependency results in trust and acceptance. Now let's use a modern day analogy. Say you need surgery as an adult. Well, you're gonna be helpless and dependent on that surgeon, especially once you're under the anesthetic. You trust and you accept that surgeon's skill and knowledge. You don't dictate to the surgeon medical practices. He dictates them to you. So it's the same type of attitude. This attitude of helplessness and dependency that children have, that the Pharisees did not have, that helps us with, our, with the word of God and how we are to enter into the kingdom. So we do not dictate to God, he dictates to us. So you could see that the Pharisees did not run up to Jesus and give him a big hug because they were not helpless, nor were they dependent. They trusted themselves and were not accepting of any other way other than their own attitude. Unless your values met their approval, you were not accepted. But children are not like that. Children are definitely not like that. Children are born into this world without any preconceived ideas. They, for all intent and purposes, are blank slates or blank pieces of paper waiting for their parents and somewhat society with pen and ink to write. Only children are like this. As adults, however, if you want to enter the kingdom, you must adopt this attitude of a blank slate. So God can write with pen and ink the Bible, so he can write on us and fashion us into Christians.
Now, let, us, let me give you an example. Now, the word baptism is not translated in the Bible. It's transliterated. Now, say you come in to the Bible, you start reading it with a preconceived idea that baptism is sprinkling, okay? So your blind paper now has been previ previously written on. It is not blank, okay? It is not blank at all. You're not like a child. You must get an eraser and erase it because baptism, the word literally means to immerse to dip, plunge, or immerse. And that's what it should mean to us today. Say you believe baptism is pouring, or maybe some other, maybe you don't even need it, okay? So your blank paper has now been previously written on. It's no longer blank, you're no longer like a child. You need an eraser, and you need to erase that and make it blank again. Remember, you go to the Bible not to prove a belief, but to find out what to believe in the first place. There's your blank slate. This is acceptance. This is what Jesus is trying to get across. Now, as I said, children are molded by parents because of this trust, and we should be molded by the Bible because of the same trust. Children can be fashioned into what the parent wants. So what about us? The Bible should mold us into what God wants us to be. And as I said, children do not have preconceived ideas. They accept truth as it is given to them. Do we have preconceived ideas? Do we have religious ideas when we read the Bible? Do we read it Catholic, Lutheran, Baptist, or any other religion? If we do, we're not accepting as little children and we will not enter the kingdom of God. This is probably the biggest obstacle to entering the kingdom. The, the Bible tells us what to do. It writes on our hearts. But with preconceived ideas, we tell the Bible or God what to do and try to write on God's heart. Guidance needs to be from God to us and not us to God. So if we want to enter the kingdom, we must become like children. Blank slates ready to be written on by the Bible. No preconceived religious ideas. We need to accept the truth as we read it and allow it to change us and transform us into the kingdom, which is exactly what Jesus is speaking about in these verses. Thanks for watching.